If you are looking for something fun to do this weekend, or if you're a fan of the hit comedy movie, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, you are in for such a treat. Actors Stephen Surf and Jennifer Cordner are here to tell us why you should come out and see this Tony Award winning musical, Spam a Lot at the Fox Theater. Welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, we've been getting our Atlantans so fired up about this play. We've been talking about it. Tell us all about, first and foremost, how are you liking Atlanta? Oh, it's wonderful. We've been here a couple of days now. We've gone over to Pea Mountain Park. We've enjoyed the sun, the jazz festival. So the we're heat. loving the heat. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the heat, the heat is, ooh, it's rough here, but we're very excited to be here at the Fox. Well, good. And tell us an overview of Spamalot. As I mentioned, it's kind of loosely based, or is it closely based on Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Um, it's... It's closely based. They took the movie and they it's it's lovingly ripped off. Okay. Um, so Eric Idle took the movie and kind of zhuzhed and added a few things. Um, added the character of the Lady of the Lake, um, which is a great character, um, played by Caroline Bowman. She knocks it out of the park. Um, so it's so it's the movie plus a little minus a little. Um, but people who love the movie are still going to love that we've kept a lot of the dialogue the same, a lot of the scenes the same. And people who love musical theater are going to love some of the songs and dance numbers they've added. Terrific. So. Yeah, if, if anybody is uh, one of those types like my brother who just is Mr. Recite Movie Lines all the time, mm -hmm. they'll still be able to do that in some yes. parts. Absolutely. Yes. But with the addition of, of course, the great music and performances. So that's awesome. And how did it even come about? Who decided to make it into from a movie to a musical? Um, that, was, that was Eric Idle. Um, he he was the brainchild behind Span a lot. Um, he kind of he had wanted to do it for a long time, and he took the idea to the other Pythons, the original Pythons, and they kind of said, "Okay, we're okay if you do this. We're not going to get involved, but we're okay with it." <laughs> okay. um, uh, he asked John Cleese to uh, voice God in the musical originally, um, so John Cleese kind of stepped up and did that. But it was mostly Eric Idle and then uh, John Dupre who he had worked with um, several times doing Monty Python stuff. Um, he wrote the music. Um, so it was it was Eric Idle's brainchild. Um, How wonderful. Yeah. And here it is. How, how long has it been running? We've been running since September. We've been on the road for quite mm -hmm. some time. And we're actually getting ready to finish up our, our run here at the end of June. So we're at the end of the tour now. Good. And what a way to uh, round it out. The fabulous Fox Theater. Yeah. I was asking them in the commercial break if they've been there yet. They said no. So wait till you see it. It is um, every time we interview somebody who's performing there, they say it just is so magical. It, and it really helps, I guess, when you have a place that you just feel so much and you're getting so much from the audience, it really helps your performances come to life. So hopefully you guys will feel that same way too. Yeah. And tell me about your parts. Hello. Let's uh, talk about that. <laughs> well, we're actually both in the chorus. We yeah. actually dance together in the show. Um, <laughs> the, the women of the show get to play tons and tons of characters, which is so wonderful to be able to do. The show is hilarious. We all get to fool around and goof around on stage. And the girls, you know, we play waitresses. We get, we get married as brides at the end. We... Um, I play one of the, the minstrels with the boys, so we, we play so many characters in the course of a two-hour show, which that's, is really, really neat. That's got to be challenging also for you yes. to, to yes. put yourself in so many, wear so many different hats, right? So many different hats, so many different wigs we wear yeah. in the show, the Literally, costumes. Are, wigs. I, wear, yeah. I wear, I think, 12 costumes. No way. Yes. There's a lot of costumes. There's lot. tons of costumes. They're all beautiful Broadway costumes, our sets, all the Broadway sets, so there's... That's another thing that's wonderful about the show. You don't have to be a Python fan to see it. We have all of the Broadway bringing it here to the Fox, which is just really, really neat. Oh, it looks great. We're watching the video right now. And tell me about how you guys both started in performing arts. Where did your love of performing come from? Um, I, my mom kind of got me into it when I was five. She took me to a uh, uh, children's theater uh, show that a, a traveling company put up, and um, I did something then, and then I, I just kind of played sports throughout high school, and I got to senior year and did a musical and went, I think this is what I want to do with my life. That's great. <laughs> I have a nephew yeah. who's going through the same thing. He's 14 now, and he's doing stuff, oh, cool. you know, locally in Tampa, and we're so cool. proud of him. I mean, you can tell this is, you know, a passion, like you said. He, yeah. We uh, showed him some things, you know, took him to some performances, and that's it. He's He was bitten by the bug, <laughs> right? And, yeah. And the rest is history. You know, that's. Can you uh, picture yourself doing anything else? I, I can't. I really. You know, it's. I, I got to the point. I think it was my senior year where I was actually on the football field, and I went. I'd rather be 
on stage right now. Well, there you go. Yeah. So. yeah. It's, it's great when you when you have those aha moments and mm -hmm. then you say, now I know what to do. I, I can set the path and, yeah. and set the tone for the rest of my life. And how about for you? Mine's a little different. Um, I started, I actually was the clumsiest, clumsiest child, and my parents didn't know what to do with me, so they put me in ballet at two and a half years old, and I have not stopped. I knew from the time I was old enough to, know, to decide, I decided that I was going to dance in New York, and... This is it, and I love it. I would never, ever, ever do anything else. How I love fabulous! It. So that's smart. They said she's so clumsy. Let's let's teach her how to get some, <laughs> some grace, some, some, some elegance, and coordination. Yeah. And, and I'm still not coordinated on the <laughs> streets. I trip every day. Yeah. But, but how are you on stage? But on stage, yeah. you great put on me on stage, stage and yeah, I'm I'm fine. That is great. Well, I'm so excited about the show. And any last minute thoughts you want to say to and entice our viewers out there why they should come see the show? Yeah, uh, I just. It's so fun. This show is so much fun. No matter what you like, if you like to laugh, you'll like our show. That's what's so great about it. You don't have to be a musical theater lover. You don't have to be a Python fan. If you are, you're going to love it that much more. But at the end of the day, if you're just looking to come out and forget about the day and laugh sure. a little and see some wonderful showgirls and <laughs> knights in shining armor, then yeah. we have it all for you. That yeah. sounds perfect. Yeah. You'll laugh for two hours straight. I love it. So. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time. Now go to rehearsals or something, us. right? Come on. <laughs> thank you, seriously. Thank you. Well, don't miss Monty Python's Spamalot playing this weekend, June 3rd through June 5th at the fabulous Fox Theater. For information and tickets, log on to theaterofthestars.com.